Greetings, YouTube. Today we're taking a look at a cold steel knife. Um, this is the Mini Tac from their Mini Tac line. There's more than one Mini Tac design. This is the Mini Bowie. It is in a Secure X sheath. It's been a while since I bought cold steel knife. I mean, like a long while. And so I was uh, saw one of these at uh, I believe it was Tractor Supply. It was twenty bucks or less, something like that. So I picked it up because I thought it looked cute. And uh, I, I, I like a, a small knife that, that can fit in different places. Um, I personally would consider this to be just a smidge too big to be a neck knife. That, that's just too big for me for a neck knife. But it is a perfect size if you wanted to put it onto a backpack strap. This is, this is like the perfect size for a backpack strap knife in my book. You know, have it readily at hand. It's not obnoxious. In fact, you may even be able to get this like above your buckles and stuff because it's not that big. Um, and, uh, it has, uh, um, a, a nice positive click. Uh, the sheath does not have a weep hole. Oh, does it have a weep hole? Hold on a second. Does it have a weep hole? It does have a weep hole. I didn't notice. It's very small. Yep, but it does have a weep hole. Awesome. I need to get some light behind that to see it. So it does have a weep hole. Big bonus. Okay, so here is the knife in question. Now, when you want to get this out of the sheath, I have found you come in. like this, puts my finger right in the location. So you want to do the, the classic uh, L on the forehead, yeah, like that. So you go like this, and your finger's going to fall into that groove, and you're going to be comfortable and safe. You're not going to have to worry about cutting yourself. Because if you were to do that, your Ed, this finger would be over the blade, which is not something you want. Because it came out of the box uh, with a really nice edge. I was, I was quite happy with that. Um, it's the classic buoy. Uh, shape, even if it is uh, a little on the small side. It says mini tack on one side, and the other side says cold steel C. Are there eight CR 13 MOB steel? Not a shocker at this price point. Uh, and it says China on it. Though you ha can find D2 steel at, on it with some blades at this price point now. D2 has become far more, uh, D2 has become far more um, uh, common. One of the things I liked about it, and I could tell that it was in the packaging, it has a flat grind, which is my personal preferred for knife. I think that all knives should be flat ground. The only thing that a hollow grind, from, in my opinion, is useful for is a straight razor. Um, and it comes to a nice secondary bevel. Everything is clean. It's got the stone wash finish, which is very nice. Everything this is, is very well appointed. It's got a nice little bit of jimping on it back, but it's very, it's not all that deep, and it's well-rounded, so it gives you firm grip, but it's not, uh, it's not painful, and it's not uh, uh, obnoxious. It's well scaled to the, to the knife itself. Sometimes when you see jumping on a knife, it, does, it seems to be like too large or too small. It doesn't seem to fit the scale of the knife. This fits the scale of the knife. Um, two slabs, I don't know what these are. I think that I don't have the packaging. I apologize. I have no idea where it went. I don't know if they're G10 or they're just some kind of plastic but they have a nice little texture on them. Kind of looks vaguely like um, a basket weave on there. Uh, vaguely, not, not actually a basket weave. And it's held in place with two fasteners on each side. So they're both, they're, since they're the same fasteners going in this way, uh, they've got very short bunts of thread. Um, there's, not, there's not a huge amount of threads holding those in place. But you probably shouldn't have to worry about that under most circumstances. You're probably not ever going to take this apart. Um, it's got, it's skeletonized, which I appreciate, not only because it makes sense, but I like the aesthetics. I, I find that attractive. Um, so absolutely uh, comfortable. And it's, this is, again, it's not a lot of knife, but this is enough to do a lot of medium duty tasks. This is not a heavy duty knife, but it's one step above a light duty knife. Um, seeing as it's fixed blade, you're not going to have to worry about it fold, fold, folding up your fingers. Um, it's going to be stronger than, a, than a, uh, a folder. If you end up having to put some torque on this way, not that I recommend that, but I understand in the real world, sometimes that does happen. But being a fixed blade, this is going to be more durable than a folder. Um, and again, because of the way this is uh, set up, because it's, there's no clip on this, it would be easy to put it right-handed you know, on either side of uh, a strap without any difficulty or strap it to a pack or something like that. Um, uh, again, I think it came with lanyard cord. I, again, I apologize. I don't know where the packaging went. <laughs> <laughs> my office is a mess, as you notice behind me. I'm working on that. Um, I finally got the space in my basement cleaned out, so once it's cooler outside, I'm going to be able to uh, uh, 
get some stuff from here downstairs, which is awesome. That's why the fan's running. My apologies. But yeah, this is an awesome little knife. I really like this. I'm glad it's in my collection. It's been a while since I bought a Cold Steel. Um, not a huge Cold Steel fan. I do like some of their larger, uh, like uh, their rifle stock club. It's kind of cool. I got some other things in the on the larger scale of it that they've made. So a couple of their machetes I think are kind of cool. When it comes to the knives, I've tried them, and they're okay. But this one, this one I really, really like. It's it's not obnoxiously large. It is, yeah, it's tactical black, but it's not in your face. It's not, you know, some huge buoy thing that no one in their right mind's ever going to want to carry. I don't know. This is a really decent size for a knife. Uh, again, I think it's a little big for a neck knife, but I think it, again, would be perfect for a backpack strap. I really do. Um, it, it just, it's, it's short and it's light and it's, it's not going to be in your way when you don't want it in your way. A lot of knives I've seen out there that people have carried as backpack strap types and blades are significantly larger than this. And I've always found that kind of, that kind of thing. It's like, why would you want that much extra? It's just going to hook on things and it's going to get in the way when you're when you're putting things on and off and the larger a blade is, the more possibility there is it's going to come out of the sheath. This is absolute. Nothing's moving here. Not going to have to worry about that. It is so light that it's not going to be an issue. So yeah, if you happen to stumble upon one of these and you like cold steel, or you just like small knives that have a usable shape and that you would, would find use for them as far as, you know, carrying them on a pack or something, um, I'd pick one of these up. And if you do find this to be the perfect pack, uh, neck knife, I want to hear about it because, again, I think it's a little big for that. Uh, I, I like something that's about two-thirds this size. I don't think I want something quite this large. I know I, know I don't want something this large, quite this large for a neck knife. So let's talk about uh, cold steel blades and neck knives and uh, see if people can swap some good recommendations.